Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we're looking at a brand new Bell's beer. This one is there. This one goes to 11 ale and 11% alcohol by volume, imperial style red ale. Basically, this one was brewed to commemorate their 11,000th batch. As you guys know, they used to do those batch series, as you want to call them. They stopped doing them, but this one, they stopped on 10,000. This one, they did one for 11,000. So, let me get into a glass that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give the final verdict on the Bells. This one goes to 11 Ale. All right, guys, so the appearance on this one goes to 11 Ale. Well, it lives up to an, being an Imperial Red. It was a beautiful, beautiful copper, caramely looking red on there. You know, it's a lighter orange where the light hits the side of the glasses. Pretty hazy. You can see, you can see the light through it, but that's about it. Decent amount of carbonation coming off the bottom of the glass. There was maybe a finger to half a finger of an off-white, kind of yellowish khaki head dissipating pretty quickly, getting those alcohol legs at 11%. You would expect to see that. So just a really nice looking beer. All right, guys, the aroma. Well, on this one goes to 11. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it smells like a double IPA. Big, resinous, uh, kind of floral, peachy type of sweet hops coming off of it. Nice, sweet, caramely breadiness, a nice sugary sweetness in there as well. Real pungent, real astringent, but at the same time, it's balanced with a really kind of sweet tropical floral smell. Just a really, really intense smelling beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the, this one goes to 11 ale. Cheers. Yeah, right at the front of the tongue, there's a massive, massive slap of hop bitterness, like a double IPA. Uh, very citric, very citrusy, grapefruity, orangey type of flavors. Middle of the mouth, it's a completely different beer, though. Big, sweet, sugary, bready notes in there. Caramel, light toffee qualities from the malts they're using in this one. And the, the hops really start to take on a, uh, a, more, a different uh, flavor. It's a, an astringent, pungent, kind of sweet, tropical fruit, fruit flavor in there. A lot of peach in this one. Definitely, definitely uh, tropical-y, peachy, kind of sweet hop characteristics. Plays off the sugary, kind of bready sweetness in there as well. Nice, you know, it's a semi-sweet uh, to sweet finish on this one. Aftertaste, more of like a grapefruit type of hop flavor. More of that peach coming through. A lot of that sugary sweetness, kind of residual sticking around. Definitely 11% beer. You feel the heat. You don't taste the booziness, but you definitely get a warming feeling from it. Just a really, really big, hoppy, bold, sweet beer. Nice stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on this one goes to 11 Ale from Bell's Brewing, 11% alcohol by volume. Guys, I'm going to give this one an A. This is one of the best Bell's beers I've had in a long time. It reminds me of Hop Slam in a lot of ways. It's super hoppy, super aromatic, but definitely has a different hop profile to it. This one's very pungent, very astringent, but it still has that sweetness like you would expect in Hop Slam. But at the same time, it's a completely different malt bill. You're getting a big kind of bready, sugary, caramely sweetness that complements the hop varieties you're using really nicely. 11%, you're getting that booziness. It's definitely a sipper, but it's a really flavorful, big kind of aromatic experience. Just a really, really well-crafted beer. I'm glad they brought it out. It's really, really awesome stuff. It's a, Imperial Red Ales are one of my new favorite styles. If they're done really hoppy like a double IPA, I really dig them. So this one's no exception. If you guys are hop heads, definitely check this one out. It's awesome stuff. So getting an A, a for me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.